Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty's Side. Thanks for joining me today. Look at this cool new layout I got going on. Uh, I guess that's this side. Check out all this shit over here, huh? Isn't that nice? Um, I've had this layout a few times before, but since I got a newer computer, I'm probably going to be using this a lot more. This will allow me to uh, read articles and stuff like that instead of just talking into my phone like I usually do. Um, I'm still going to do those, but um, probably get these going a little more often instead. Um, yeah, it'll be a little easier for me to do these also. can get more content going. So, um, But let's just jump into it. I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, boom, right here from the HuffPo. Good old our friends at, Huff at the Huffington Post. Uh, I had a baby at the height of the pandemic. Here's what I learned about it. gender inequality. Yeah, oh boy. Oh boy. So, let's uh, get ridden here real quick. Uh, I got promoted to president uh, of her place, and uh, she was five months pregnant. First thing. First thing right off. Um, I s just kind of skimmed through the very first part of this, so um, I haven't read the whole thing. So part of it's going to be just uh, what comes off the top of my head. So first of all, Lady, who decided to get pregnant? You did. The pregnancies are never accidents. They are not. You decided to get pregnant. So now you get to deal with all the wonderful things that comes along with that. To say that work, to say that I work for Progressive Coding is an understatement. Uh, three months into it, the pandemic hit. Uh, she had pregnancy complications. Uh, forced me to spend most of the month of March in the hospital, where I ultimately had the baby six weeks six weeks early. Ouch. Um, this is my second baby, so I thought I was prepared that this time was different. We were in lockdown. There was no support system to help me with the baby. No friends and family coming over to make meals or help you sneak in a quick shower or nap. My mom works in a hospital, so she couldn't even be there. It was just us. That does suck. Um, but again, this is your second child, so you're both working, and it just didn't, it doesn't sound like you both were really prepared, so I'm wondering why you decided to have a kid. Um, my husband spent the majority of the month with me in the hospital working and doing calls from my bedside, so even though he was not at his place and not having the kid, um... He was still working. So, because you're, let's see, you're president. Were you not able to do any kind of work from virtu like virtually? That doesn't make sense. He was engaged in support of anyone could ask for. See? That's a good man right there. He's doing everything that he can. And you wonder why men get paid more. <laughs> but given that the world and the economy were crashing, he had to get back to work four days after we brought the baby home from the hospital. Yeah, exactly. Men don't get paternity leave. And you're not working, apparently, so someone's got to make the fucking money. And, of course, it was the man. It was a necessary decision. As leader of his firm, he had responsibility. Blah. Uh, as a businesswoman, I completely understood. Uh-huh. It's what we needed to do, what he needed to do for his company, his clients, and for our family. Okay, good. But as someone who also had the responsibility to lead a company of help build employees that I care for, and a career with Tyler's girl, I deeply, deeply resented him. Why? I resented him for having a choice and for having a backstop that I certainly didn't have. You made the choice. You made the choice to have a kid. You already made the choice. And you're not even saying if he wanted to have the kid or not. You didn't even say whether you were like, oh, I'm on my pill, I'm on the pill or whatever, so I can't get pregnant. Or oh, you could have done something like that. We don't know. You didn't say. We're both becoming parents again, and we were both responsible for leading our companies. The only difference was I am a woman who makes all the decisions of when and how you have kids. 
There was straddling the same decisions and guilt women have been facing for generations. Oh, boo-hoo. Knowing that there was no choice, of course, my family comes first. Good. And they should. And that's why the guy's working so hard. It's because someone needs to pay for the family. You think he wants to work however long he's working every fucking day? Come on. But I also felt a mass sense of guilt and failure that I wasn't able to be there to do my job. You were doing your job. You were taking care of your fucking kids that you decided to have. Undoubtedly the most challenging situation in the history of our business. As a business leader, I've always been a passion about advocating for policy. Yeah, who cares? Um, all that said, this experience made me realize more than anything that policies that focus on women aren't enough. You already have paternity leave. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, maternity leave. There is no paternity leave. Do you not get that? And he was still working while you were pregnant. Why weren't you... Why weren't you working? Yeah, you were suffering, I know. But if he's able to do it virtually or remotely, I would imagine you could too. Boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. This is a cultural problem. Yeah, one against men. One that our country is far behind on. Oh, Jesus. There's a reason why... There's a reason that women only hold 25... A uh, percent of exec or senior level roles besides despite making up 49 percent of the college educated workforce <sighs> i'm not even gonna okay it's no secret <laughs> the fall off happens when a woman starts to have families that they decide to have additionally during the covid 19 pandemic covid 19 pandemic women have been exiting the workforce in record numbers in order to care for children uh-huh in this country, society teaches us that women, that a woman is more necessary for caretaking or that we somehow are better at it. I mean, society thinks you're better at it, and that's why you get the custody all the time. Men get thrown off, get thrown out to the side, and they still have to pay for it and don't get custody of the kids. Society favors women one more is this uh, yeah <laughs> many companies have generous maternity leaves but when fathers but when leaving fathers out of the equation all those policies do is to continue to perpetuate the idea of caretaking <laughs> <What's wrong? laughs> in order to fulfill that role <sighs> but y'all bitched about this forever about having maternity leave. Like, I need maternity leave. I need this. I need this. I need that. And you get it. And now it's perpetuating this shit. Come on. Make up your fucking minds. God damn. If companies are truly committed to gender equality, it's not enough to just have PR-friendly policies to make your company look progressive. You need to ensure those policies are ingrained in your culture. That means ensuring leadership, men or women, are taking time off for parental leave to set the example. That means making parental leave mandatory so no employee has to feel like they're making a choice that will jeopardize their career. Okay. A company is there to make money. Most of them are. When you decide to have a child and you can't work, the company suffers in some sort of way. And making maternity leave mandatory just screws with a company so much because they're not getting work done that they normally would be. And they're still having to pay you for work you're not doing. So, of course, companies don't want to hire women as much because they do this shit. They decide, oh, I'm... I'm I've been uh, hired, so now I'm just going to crank out a bunch of kids but still keep my job because they can't get rid of me because that's, you know, against the law or whatever. I don't know. It's it's different in different areas. But god damn. That's, that's what she's just – and she's a president of a company. And she doesn't understand this. This is what's bizarre to me. Uh, professionally, I returned to work remotely last summer. Okay, there you go. Uh, during the three months I was out, the company – the way the company needed to operate fundamentally changed. I'd be lying if I didn't admit there were some major insecurities when I came back. <laughs> I had to learn the new ways we worked, and I had to strike a balance between humility and assertiveness as I figured out 
how to take the reins back while taking cues from the team that had weathered the storm while I was out. Sounds like you had to be a man. Just like everyone else, I evolved the new normal and quickly found my groove. Well, that's good. No. Um, if you came back and you came back strong, that's great. Like, really, that's that's awesome. Um, but this whole gender inequality thing is just, that's ridiculous. You took the time out. You decided to get pregnant. And you have to live with consequences. It's as simple as that. So that's all I really got to say about this article and this dumb woman. <laughs> Who? Oh, look at it! Look at the place is a mess. Oh, I don't know if this is. I think this is her. But look at there's there's crap everywhere. There's crap everywhere. Jeez. Oh, it's a mess in there. What a surprise. Anyway, that's all I got for this. Um, let me know what y'all think about this. This new format that I got going on. Um, yeah, and like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. I love you all. Later.